Sorry, click the links for Odyssey Beach, you join channel, become a member, support channel, and the various other links, subscribe, start on whatnot, or Gap Telegram. Uh, this kind of stuff actually makes me sick. It makes me nauseous to see this kind of thing. And I, I believe Zach, back when he was diversity in comics, was talking about the ability of SJWs to want to destroy people's lives and feel nothing. To burn down people's lives and just feel nothing for it. To get people fired, to get people doxxed, kicked out of schools just to throw grenades in rooms and never consider the consequences of their actions. Because one, a lot of them are sociopaths. And a lot of them are young. And even if the ones that are not young, they're adult bodies with child behavior. Um, a lot of them have never just kind of crossed over that threshold of, I don't know, growing up. There's some point you reach when you just kind of, you're an adult and realize other people are real. Even if they disagree, with, you disagree with them. And they're real in a way that multi-million dollar celebrities who are well insulated from life's slings and arrows are less real. So even somebody you disagree with, like a, a tug making videos on YouTube, it, like he matters more than Amber Heard matters, who's, you know, probably just in her mansion, just doing fine. You're not protecting Amber Heard. And and the, the fact they're writing some peti petition for Amber Heard, it's like, she doesn't care about you. She doesn't know who you are. She'll never care about you. You mean absolutely nothing to her. Tug is more of a real person than Amber Heard is in that regard. Um, there, there, are, like, there are some... The, the internet has given people... People who you would avoid on the street because they're kind of wearing the underwear outside their clothing type of people or wearing bathrobes and walking around the neighborhood. Uh, they All it takes is a cell phone and they're online and there's somebody online. It's just... It's, it's terrifying to think like, oh, we're going to... We're gonna, some video about somebody having a meltdown in public. It's like, oh, okay, well, let's dox them. Let's get them fired. Let's get their spouse fired. Let's destroy their life. Let's let's get their kids kicked out of school. Let's let's just just go to town. Let's just get that hate boner out. I was like, oh, shouldn't there be something in place to stop this kind of thing? Like, nope, not uh, no. There's nothing in place. There is no system to prevent that. It's like it's just a, a hate mob on one side, and you try to counter it with uh, pushing a narrow on the other side. It's like, oh, man, this, it just makes me sick to think about, like, this is kind of the low-trust America you're headed towards. Um, so Tug, and uh, Tug, and, and who's Tug? He, he, bring, he makes videos on pop culture on YouTube, um, and that's it. He's not some extremist anything in any regard. He just makes pop culture videos, uh, brings people news they want. And if you don't like that kind of news, you just don't have to watch the channel. Nobody's forcing these these Twitter kids to do this and they've I'm from this maybe it affects me a little bit further because I've seen uh, them do this with comic skate try to destroy people's lives for like internet disagreements or even worse not even legitimate in agreement disagreements they've heard something like they think uh, Richard Myers or diversity either or, or Ethan or one of these other people has said they think they hold a certain position so they oh we're, we got to get this person destroyed or even a threat of uh, of uh, violence against them as I've, I've seen online people literally being threatened um, online over stuff like Comicsgate or over you know, whether you voted Trump or Hillary in 2016 it's just it's insane stuff of people who have lost touch with reality just it, I can't imagine getting caught up in this kind of stuff as an adult maybe as a teenager but then you realize like well a lot of these people are teenagers but they have the ability to like oh yeah so you're, you're getting somebody fired it's like well they have I mean, they have a life. What are they supposed to do? They're going to be fired for, you know, a few years before they their name kind of washes out of the public. And it's like, it's always going to be found on a search engine. So what are you doing to that person's wife, family, kids? Like, what are you doing to that person's life? Because they made a, they had a public meltdown. They said something offensive. Say it's legitimately offensive. Or they had a meltdown on an airplane when they were tired, cranky. Something happened. It's like they're PMSing. Something happened. Like, oh, you want to destroy their life for them being human. And there's nothing to stop that. It's, it's, I guess it's kind of like Mao's China or Stalin's Russia in some small way. It's not, it's not quite there yet. Um, they're not having the ability to put you in gulags or re education camps just yet. And they won't for a while because of that tricksy, tricksy little Second Amendment and the ability, um, to um, do that sort of thing. <laughs> careful, careful there, Bianca. Nice try, FBI. <laughs> um, but they, um, not for lack of trying, they will try to put you in good looks. But, I mean, financially, it's like they can, they can do a lot to you, financially. 
and your name's in a search engine forever and the the meshing of industry and tech it's like people say you know stuff like uh, so what if you're you know what if your credit card company doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to allow you to use their financial some some financial institution uh, kicks you off because uh, your bank kicks you off, which has happened to right of center people in the UK and the United States because of your political views. Like, oh, suddenly you're stranded from home. This happened to a girl in uh, in England. I, just, I think I want to say Laura Towler. She's the the Towler T link I have at the bottom of my links. Um, she's some kind of right of center UK girl, and she found herself stranded somewhere in England when her credit card didn't work. She's trying to take a lift home, and suddenly uh, she's trying to buy something, go shopping, and suddenly she's, she realizes, like, oh, the credit card's canceled. It's like, gee, it really would have been nice if you warned somebody ahead of time. Um, and it's like th- those that mesh of financial institutions, like what happens when you're you know, Uber cancels you, your credit card cancels you, your um, stores, ban- like, you realize, oh, there's really nothing to stop any of that, and there should be, but, you know, kind of not to get too heavy, but America's not a nation, it's a commercial zone, and it's run by financial interests, and you realize, oh, if you don't just spout the party line, you can be in trouble, unless, I guess, gee, it's weird how those 535 representatives aren't doing anything to kind of, you know, protect Protect the American people. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what those Epstein flight logs say or what those... You, you look at, like, Republicans who vote, vote strangely, and you go, oh, so uh, what are those Epstein videos? What do they What do they have on you that you're, you're not doing this kind of stuff? I mean, there's a bunch of legitimate idiots in politics anyway, but it feels like, it feels like we're not getting representation. It feels like the general populace feels a certain way. And then you look to our representatives in the media, and they're on a completely different page, on a way left of center page. Even the political middle of political bell curve normies on, and and you look at like this narrative that's being pushed in social media with this this kind of destroying people's lives. And you go, yeah, we really would like you to do something about that, and like nobody's doing anything about it. That feels kind of. Do we like have to form um, uh, groups for to? sort of fix things? Is that like kind of where it's going? It's like, oh, well, plot twist. Yeah, it's going. I know this is a tug video. It's doing a lot of heavy lifting to, the, to watering the tree of liberty and, and the Second Amendment and militias and all that kind of stuff. This uh, Second American Civil War. Not that I'm advocating any unconstitutional activity, mind you. Um, but it's all connected. It's like, why are you still do a pop culture channel? Because it's all facets of the same crystal moving forward. Um, this kind of being ruled not by the will of the people but being ruled by Twitter mobs you know 12 angry weirdos on Twitter who are trying to get somebody uh, kicked off uh, YouTube and it's like yeah nobody has your back you realize like somebody calls a company they're just going to fire you because they just don't care they're just it's just commercial zone USA I think people are kind of starting to realize that because like some of the the stuff about people getting fired in docs like some of the, the things were People could kind of see it both ways. It's like somebody was a legitimate weirdo. Um, but then after that, it's like it just kept going and going and going. And you saw people, you know, like a dog walker who panicked in a park. It's like, ah, it could have gone either way. But you realize, like, oh, so her spouse also got fired. It's like there's no... It doesn't seem like there's a way to come back from that. It, it And, it, you know, it's, it's weird, like... Those 535 people in Washington who allegedly represent us aren't aren't trying to take steps to do anything about this. Um, strange days we're headed for, especially now because the Department of Justice says that they they disagree with the Supreme Court's latest ruling on the Second Amendment. It's, um, oh, is he like? Is it is it happening? It might be. It might be. A lot of heavy lifting from a tech video. Um, so what they're trying to do is pass a... I've been making bitch and, and Odyssey videos before this. I'm like in this super, super based state of mind. Um, he's uh, They're trying to get him kicked off YouTube because he covers pop culture and they disagree with him. That's, that's kind of the whole video. It's like, well, you know, he makes a whole lot of money from YouTube. He probably relies on it. It's, he's got things planned. Um, it's a very big part of his income it might even be more than his whatever his regular gig is i'm i'm sure he hasn't quit his day job but it's like his family relies on that and he's just making pop culture videos and there's a group of angry weirdos on twitter on social media who want to destroy this person's life and you know a lot of them are they're young they don't have families they don't have wives and kids they don't know what it's like to be concerned about bills be concerned about money especially now with inflation and <laughs> thanks biden <laughs> biden's gas no it's putin's gas ta- gas you get the idea it's like they don't know the consequences of what they're doing and like i said some of them are sociopaths they really don't care 
but they have access to a cell phone, the ability to just destroy somebody's life. Anyway, um, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do about this kind of stuff. Form, uh, form local groups of like-minded individuals. I don't know, some, something along those lines. Anyway, join me on Subscribe Star Patreon, the various other links, and I'll see you guys all next episode.